The levels in adult ballet class are all messed up. What do I mean by this? Okay. We're going to talk about a few different things. We're going to talk about the San Francisco ballet levels because, well, they make sense to me. We're going to talk about the JKO at American Ballet Theater school levels because they make sense to me. The SAB levels don't make sense to me. They're confusing. I'm not even going to be able to remember them. I'm not going to lie. There's like B1, C2, C3, B, 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 too much. Okay. Let's start with the adult ballet class though. Okay. You walk into your first adult ballet class. You take the beginner class. You drop in. It's February of 2023. What happened? You went in the class. They had one hand on the bar. They're using full porta bras. They're doing pirouettes. They're doing chenets. They're doing a whole bunch of things. And you're in there just like, oh, oh, oh. you can't remember the exercise. You're over there like, okay. It is a lot to take in your first class. I'm sure you've been there. I've seen adult ballet dancers be there. It's not the prettiest picture, but when you're a professional or a pre-professional student, it's quite comical, I'm not gonna lie. Those of you that are pre-professional or professionals, I know you can relate, okay? But we need to support our adult ballet audience and we wanna make sure that they have the most fun and they're successful doing it, okay? And how do you do that? The bare basics, boring foundations, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, do not rush. Every class you take adds on a little bit at a time, which is why you need a set curriculum and this is why you need a set structure to learn ballet properly, okay? I can help. Link in the description below, okay? School.com forward slash learn ballet. It's my, for now, free online ballet course for adults from the very beginning, the very foundationals with my student Mackenzie, right? She's a beginner herself and you're gonna see her full progression. You're gonna watch me on video take a beginner student from basically square zero to advanced because we're, we're in there for the long haul. But besides that, listen, you need the foundational basics to get going with ballet. Each class adds on just a little bit at a time. It's really building a foundation brick by brick, brick by brick, right? So when you go into a class, you don't know what you're doing and they're doing sideways to the bar, they're doing full port de bras, they're doing balance, they're doing chenets, they're doing tombe pas de bourree. They're doing all these different steps that require all these little in-between steps and these little add-ons that you didn't learn. It's difficult, it's discouraging, and a lot of times you don't want to go back or you try the other class and it's still hard, the, 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 the less class. You go to a more advanced class, it's like, whoa, this is really hard, okay? That is the overwhelming problem with the adult ballet class world. It is difficult. It is difficult because you drop into a class and you don't know what's going on because you didn't have that progression from the foundational level, which is what I can help you with. Link in the description below, but that we're not here to talk about that. <sighs> so how does it work in the uh, pre-professional world, in the professional ballet school world? So let's talk about the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School at the American Ballet Theater, because that's the one I know the best, because I hold their national teacher trainer curriculum from, well, their national teacher trainer uh, curriculum certificate, I should say, from the pre-primary level to the level four level, okay? Pre-primary, fun, games, nothing crazy, no turnout, because at that age, young, young age, I think it's like three to like five-year-olds, something like that, it's just fun and games. It's just osmosis learning. It's learning coordination naturally, very holistic, approach to training. There's no real formal training in there. It's learning about music. It's having fun. It's learning to be in a structured environment. Okay. It's fun. Primary level, introducing a little more formalities, holding the skirt with, 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 you know, forming the on bar position, doing a little arm like that, you know, level one. Okay. Now we're getting into the more formal kind of stuff. Probably starts out in the center at first, but eventually you're going to be facing the bar. Okay. This is where I kind of start the adult students at, right? Facing the bar. Well, really the first, first class, no bar, no socks, no shoes. Like you don't even like, just see if you even like it first, but then you're facing the bar. You're doing basic tendus, demi plies, not even grand plies, right? Level two, adding on probably towards the end of the, of the year, one hand on the bar, level three, one hand on the bar, doing more jumps, starting to learn pirouettes, level four, adding on, adding on, adding on, adding on, getting more advanced, level five, getting even more advanced, a lot more compound movements, a lot more coordination, point work is going to be introduced probably around level four, level five, pre-point at least from level four, okay, level six where it gets interesting, right, all the technical things are coming together and the artistry is coming together, 
And this is usually in, in both San Francisco and the, well, actually San Francisco, they started partnering a little earlier, but I know in um, JKO from my experience, at least when I was there, because the levels have changed a little bit since then because they have a new director. The partnering starts at level six and then level seven, it's like you're fully putting everything together, mastery, mastery, mastery. And then there's studio company at ABT, which is more of like a, you know, company kind of deal. There's a stipend involved. And then of course, at San Francisco, there's the trainee division, which actually comes after level eight. It goes up to level eight at San Francisco, at least since I was there. I don't know if it's changed since then. Okay. And trainee uh, used to be a stipend situation as well at San Francisco. And now I believe you actually have to pay to do it, which is like, whoa. But even when I was in level seven, I got a stipend. So that's kind of the progression of ballet technique and the professional schools. Okay. It's a very different story. And the ballet schools that I went to prior to these professional, you know, attached to a big company academies, same deal for the most part, primary, pre-primary, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sometimes the eight, depending on the school. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the deal. You can see that the progression in a, in a traditional setting, when you start from a young age, it, it's really adding on, adding on, adding on. And mind you, we're showing up to class every week, very minimum, okay? Uh, once a week is really the pre-primary level. Primary, I think, still once a week, maybe twice a week. Level one is definitely at least twice a week. I know what, by the time I was in level three, it was three times a week I was showing up, three times a week. Level four, it's already every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so you can imagine the levels of progression we're going through in just a week, right? And the combinations of different movements we're doing in just a week, right? I designed my curriculum for adult dancers to learn the foundational basics as a once a week situation, okay? There's four classes in there and you, I, I progress each class a little bit. Yeah, you have to progress, especially for adults. Like you don't wanna be bored. You don't wanna be doing the same thing for too long, okay? However, I recommend that you practice those foundational basics on your own and you don't just go through the one, two, three, four and then move on, right? Do the class one, watch it some more, get it in your head, right? Watching and, and observing is really good because it reinforces the concepts that you learned and helps with your muscle memory, okay? And in addition to that, right? Just do it at home more. Practice some of the movements. Take one exercise and just memorize that and, and practice it over and over. Practice the demi rond de jambe to the side, demi rond de jambe to the side. Practice lifting the leg from tendu back into that small arabesque position. Those things are gonna be extremely fundamentally helpful. And when you progress to doing more movements like multiple pirouettes, like jumps, all these kind of things, you saw, right? Those foundational basics are what's gonna help you the most. That technique, as my teacher, Charlie Anderson from the Contra Costa Valley School would say, Technique is pennies saved for a rainy day. It's there when you need it and it's gonna help you and guide you, okay? The technique of ballet, you can't skip it. You can't just skip, 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 right? You have to go from the beginning, right? This is how bad habits form. This is how I, I, I form some bad habits. At some point in my ballet training, I kind of progressed too far. It was above my level and I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing yet right? And what happens is you form bad habits and those bad habits are extremely hard to get rid of. I still hold bad habits these days that do plague me, okay? And I don't want that for you guys. You're in it for the long haul. Do it right and do it the first time. Do it the first time and do it right and you'll be happy. That's all I got for you guys. If you want to learn more, school.com forward slash learn ballet down in the description below. Free online course for adult ballet students. It's going to be there free. Not too much longer. This has been Mr. Elisha. Basta.